everybody welcome back to my channel so today I am gonna do some breakfast or lunch toast ideas for you guys I hope you find uh, some of these examples that I'm going to show you um, you know something that you would like to try I'm going to cover like three breakfast type uh, toast options and then four lunch type options for you so I'm going to go ahead and go through the ingredients that I have and then we're going to get started so the ingredients I have for you guys, because um, I'm giving you seven examples, I toasted some Ezekiel bread, it's the low sodium Ezekiel bread, but go ahead and use any type of bread you like. Um, I love whole grains or any kind of healthy uh, type breads. This is low sodium, so I toasted seven of those. Okay, also I fried some extra firm tofu. I just fried it uh, with just a little bit of olive oil and uh, amino, what is it again here? The cocoa coconut aminos. It's like soy sauce, like a healthier version. So I put some of that in the, a little drop of wasabi while it was um, sauteing in the pan. Some turkey bacon. I have um, six half slices here. Okay, some egg whites. Uh, this is two egg whites and some red bell pepper that I sauteed. Okay, also some beets. Um, some slices of beets and blueberries, fresh blueberries, diced green onions, some lemon zest. This is the uh, cauliflower, riced cauliflower. If you don't have it, just take regular cauliflower and dice it finely. Okay, some green olives with the pimentos inside. I just uh, thinly sliced it and just some avocados. The ones I got were not that ripe. Um, I was thinking they were already ripe. So in the inside I have some that I kind of cut up and then on the top I have slices. This is just one avocado. Okay, also for some spices, I got the uh, blue agave sweetener and this is the sriracha mayo. If you don't have sriracha mayo, you can use regular mayo and just season it. Um, if you do have sriracha and mayo, then mix it up or any kind of aioli you would like to put together, however you want to season your mayo, or you can just use plain mayonnaise. Um, some balsamic vinegar. Okay, some pepper, some salt. This is the uh, Japanese or, um, yeah, Japanese rice seasoning. They come in a few different varieties. This is the furikake. Okay, and then some turmeric cayenne pepper and almond butter the almond butter and then also some hummus okay back here I have some thinly sliced tomatoes some microgreens also some arugula some baby spinach this is just extra avocado and a lemon because I was using the zest okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started everybody Okay, and also some bananas. I already sliced this one banana. Okay, so here we go everyone. We're gonna go ahead and start with the first one. We're gonna do like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. It's just a little bit of a healthier version. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the almond butter. So just put some almond butter. And this is really quick, you guys. Once you get to know what toppings you like to put on your uh, different types of toast, it'll be really quick and easy for you. And especially, it's fun too to try different flavors out for your kids. Okay, and then go ahead and just put some bananas on here. So there's some bananas and then I'm gonna put some fresh blueberries. So the blueberries is kind of like, you know, in a peanut butter jelly sandwich, the blueberries is kind of like the jelly or the jam or whatever, the preserves. Um, so if you wanna do strawberries, like for strawberry preserves, um, you know, maybe a little bit of orange slices, like if you're gonna do like orange marmalade. So get creative. There's so many ways you can make your breakfast or lunch toast very um, delicious. Okay, so also after putting that, you're gonna go ahead and drizzle it with some 
Uh, you can either use honey, but I, I like the blue agave. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drizzle this. Just a little bit. You don't have to put a lot because the um, almond butter already is a little bit, you know, naturally sweet or nutty. So we have the first one. There it is, you guys. A healthier version of a peanut butter jelly sandwich. It has the almond butter, banana, fresh blueberries, and a drizzle of the blue agave syrup. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and work on the second one, you guys. So this one is the one with the avocado. So I kind of have some slices and then I have some that are cut up because these are not that ripe yet. But I'm going to go ahead and use both kinds. And this is just one avocado, but if you're making like a few, then you can use less avocado on top. So I'm just going to spread this. Normally it would be spreadable, but because these are not that ripe, um, we're not able to do that. Or if you want to puree it in a food processor, you can. Okay, actually I'm just going to leave it like that without the slices because that would just be too much, I think. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put some bacon on here, some turkey bacon, a healthier version. That's just our house phone, guys. Okay, so after that, I'm going to go ahead and um, put some sriracha. This one here, the sriracha mayo. Okay, and how good does that look, everybody? So delicious. Okay, moving on to the next one. So the next one is gonna be the egg white scramble. So go ahead and um, just take your egg white scramble. I didn't season this with salt and pepper, but we're gonna season it uh, right now after I put it on here. Let me see, too many bell peppers. But I'm gonna use this for another piece of toast. That's a little too much. Okay, so here is the egg white scramble. Okay, and then now we're going to go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit. You don't have to put too much. So a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're, we're going to do a little bit of turmeric and cayenne pepper. Here is the turmeric. Now it is up to you. You don't have to season it with uh, these seasonings I'm using, but a little salt and pepper does help to give it a little flavor. So just a little turmeric and a little bit of cayenne uh, pepper just to give it a little bit of flavor and heat. Okay, look how quick and easy that was, everybody. Oh my goodness, and I forgot the spinach on here. We're supposed to put it on a bed of spinach. Okay, I had forgotten to put the spinach, bed of spinach on there, you guys. So I took off all the toppings and then I put the spinach, baby spinach uh, leaves on there. And then I put the egg white bell pepper scramble and then I kind of added a little more seasoning. Remember, it's salt and pepper, cayenne pepper and turmeric. Okay, so we are moving on to the next one, everybody. So this one is gonna be with arugula. I love arugula. So I'm gonna just kind of move everything over here. Okay, so we're gonna do a bed of arugula right here. This is kind of a yummy, peppery uh, greens. And I just love arugula. You can, you know, just use it for so many things. Okay, so here is the arugula, you guys. I don't know if you could, let me put this stuff back. So here's the arugula. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the three tofu slices that we stir fried with some um, cocoa aminos and wasabi. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, Put a, put a little bit of the furikake. This has different kinds of varieties. Okay, so I'm gonna sprinkle this on top. Okay, 
All right, and look how good that looks, everybody. So delicious. So moving on, the next one will be a hummus type toast. This is the Sabra. You can get uh, like garlic, roasted bell pepper, original. There's so many different kinds of hummus. And um, my daughter likes anything with hummus, so this is definitely one for her. Okay, so just go ahead and spread some hummus on the toast. Okay, go ahead and line it with the thinly sliced cucumbers. Now this is the Parisian cucumbers, you guys, that I got at the 99 cents only store. They are so good. Try them one time. So these are just thinly sliced. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and put some olives on there. You can do the black olives, um, any kind of olives, whatever you like, whatever you have on hand. Okay, now doesn't that look good? Some hummus, thinly sliced cucumbers, and some olives. On to the next. Okay, I forgot to let you know also about the basil. I got some basil. We have a little basil plant from Trader Joe's that we bought for like $3.49. And I forgot to pick some over there, so I picked some and washed it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some basil on here. They got a little bit wilted, wilted because I had it um, in the sun a little bit too long. And then at the same time, I forgot to water it yesterday. So they kind of drooped down. But I just watered the plant now. So hopefully it'll get revived again. Okay, so there is a bed of basil. And go ahead and just put on some tomatoes. Four big slices should be good. And then go and season it with some salt and pepper. And there we are. You can do the mozzarella cheese, the regular caprese salad, but um, I don't have any right now. So we're just gonna do the basil and tomato and the balsamic vinegar. So with or without mozzarella cheese, whatever you have on hand, at least I got most, oops, most of the ingredients, right guys? Okay. There you go. A yummy uh, basil, tomato, salt, pepper, and balsamic vinegar toast. Okay, everybody. So last but not least, we're going to do the beets, my favorite uh, vegetable right here. So we're going to uh, lay this on a bed of microgreens, one of my favorites right here for, for all kinds of things, microgreens. And a lot of this stuff you've seen me uh, from my hauls from Trader Joe's um, and 99 cents only store and Winko, but this one I got at Trader Joe's. Okay, so that's some microgreens and I'm going to just put some beets on there. Beets are so uh, good for your heart. And if you have any kind of, you know, issues with your heart, like I do with my POTS syndrome, I try to take care of my heart the best I can and beets is one of the ways to do that. Okay, so I am gonna season it with a little bit of salt, just a little bit. So just a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper. Oops. Okay, and then we're gonna crumble some bacon on here, you guys. It's gonna be so good. Cause I still have some bacon left. Let me see. Just gonna crumble. I kind of fried it till it got crispy. I don't know how you guys like your bacon. I like mine crispy, the turkey bacon. This one's gonna be super yummy because it has a lot of my favorites in here. The beets, the microgreens, and the bacon. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and top it with some diced green onions, just a little bit. And there was something I was supposed to put this on and I have to go and check it out. But look, you guys, does it not look so good? So I remembered what I was supposed to sprinkle with cauliflower. This one right here, the white uh, finely diced cauliflower or riced cauliflower, they call it. So this is going to give the egg scramble a, a crunch because the, the spinach is soft, the bell pepper and the eggs are soft because they've been sauteed, but the riced cauliflower pieces is going to give it a nice crunch. Ooh, I cannot wait to eat these, you guys. My husband and I will share these. Okay, and there was something with lemon zest. <laughs> the basil right here. So I got some in here, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I... Well, maybe this might be enough. Okay, if not, let's put some more on there. I love lemons, you guys. My mom is a lemon fanatic too, like me. She used to make me all the lemon and honey drinks when I was little, especially in the winter time and with ginger water. Okay, I think that's a good amount of lemon zest. Okay, everybody, so that is the end of my video. I went ahead and cleared out the counter, and I just want to go through each one of these with you. There you go. This is the one with the hummus, the cucumber and olives. This is like the caprese salad without the cheese. It's got the uh, basil, tomato, salt, pepper, balsamic vinegar, uh, and lemon zest. And then over here is the uh, microgreens with the beets, slices of beets, and uh, crumbles of turkey bacon and diced green onions. Over here is the baby spinach with egg white scramble with red bell pepper scramble with the eggs. And then just to give it a crunch, a little bit of cauliflower, uh, riced cauliflower. Over here is the arugula with the uh, extra firm tofu that's been seasoned with wasabi and uh, cocoa aminos and a little bit of sprinkle of furikake, which is, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, you guys, furikake, furikake. <laughs> and okay, this one is a yummy breakfast one. It's my take on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's got the almond butter, banana slices, fresh blueberries, and a drizzle of the blue organic blue agave syrup. Over here is the, um, the avocados, and it's the avocado toast. It's avocados with tur fried turkey bacon and a drizzle of the uh, sriracha mayo. Hello, everybody. Okay, so that is the end of my video. I hope that this gave you some inspiration to try different kinds of toast on different types of bread, if you like, whatever your favorite breads are. Um, you know, if you have guests coming over, maybe do little tiny ones, like maybe on like pumpernickel or some tiny uh, brioche or French breads or whatever kind of breads you like. Um, yeah, so I hope this gave you ideas. Try out some of these recipes. They're quick, easy, and simple. Whatever you have on hand, just put it together and um, see what you come up with on your own also. Okay, I will see you soon if you found this video um, informative, enlightening, and made you happy, put a smile on your face today, press that thumbs up button and, and like this video. And I would really appreciate it, everybody, if you subscribe. I really try my best to make these videos um, good for you guys and make you happy each day. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone.